Hello farmers, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty Part 2 of the yield test, I suppose, because a lot of people ask for this. I mentioned it in the video, so here we are. Yeah, yeah the, the whole the yield test thing um, we did a couple days ago. So I talked about winter canola. Well, it's it's April 6th. I planted this field on September 15th. Look at the field stats. Not been plowed, cultivated, fertilized, or manured. So we do know on the test we did a couple days ago, uh, we got a yield of 13,194. All right, so I opened my big, my big mouth and said, well, what happens when you do winter canola? It should be like double, right? They said double, something like that. So here we are, April 6th, in the same field, doing the same thing. There's my what, there's my harvester, ready to go. You know the deal. There's my trailer. Uh, so I'm going to harvest this a field, and we'll see what we get for the test. Uh, yes, the scarecrow is still there. So I'm all set to go ahead and harvest. On a side note, uh, devs, if you're watching this, so I, when I reload the game, of course, when you reload the game, any attachments you got attached to the equipment is not attached anymore, so you have to reattach it. I left my harvester parked right here, and the header, of course, you know, detached from it when I reload the game. And um, guess what? I could not attach the header. The header would not attach. I've been here for like the last 15 minutes. You can probably see all the tire marks I tried a whole bunch of things. I, I thought the angle of the harvester needed to be a little bit more. The header just wouldn't line up. Uh, after about 10-15 minutes of going around, I got to the right pixel point apparently in the game and the header, I, I saw where it flickered and said Q, attach header. I'm like, oh, I saw it, it's there. Um, yeah, so yeah, we can always call for a tow truck when you're in, so like when you're in a vehicle, I can call for a tow truck if I get stuck and the vehicle can go out. What about attachments? There's got to be a way to reset attachments somewhere. Um, yeah, this is a side note. Anyways, because uh, <laughs> I was getting really frustrated because I went ahead, uh, skipped forward a lot of time, planted this field. I'm like, uh, so I'm not going to be able to do this test. I'm not a happy peanut right now. Uh, but here we are. Yeah, so I'm going to cruise. I'm going to harvest this field. Winter canola. Uh, yeah, let's see what we get. So I'll see you in about 10... 15 minutes. I should know how long it takes my harvest this field, but really, I don't remember. It's been two days, and I tried to forget about it. But <laughs> I'll see you when I get done, and we'll see how much more we got than the 13,194 than we do during the regular season. So this is winter canola test on the yield. Yeah, I'll shut up now. See you in about 15. Okay, so the field has been harvested. Same as before, the other test has been plowed, cultivated, all that. Scarecrow's there. Uh, all the grain is in the trailer. So, like I said before, last time in the in yield before, and the last episode we just did, planted, I believe, I don't have the exact numbers, I don't have the sheet right in front of me right now for some stupid reason, but I believe it was April 28th we planted the canola, harvested it on June 30th in the same conditions. Got 13,194. This canola harvest, the winter canola, which should be, uh, I think they said a better a better yield on it. So, um, planted this on September 15th, slept through the winter, harvesting it on the 6th of April. So, drum roll please. And the final result is 13,300. Basically 106 kilograms more. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, so I think one of two things is going on here. Um, uh, one, the obvious thing is the winter canola doubling or being a better yield over the winter. Yeah, it doesn't work. Or we're getting the winter canola yield all the time. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. So, yeah, the same yield, basically. I mean, I, I'm not going to bother looking in the sky and give the percentage difference because it's like 1%, uh, even even that, that. So, um, yeah, there you have it. Um, have fun in the comments below. Um, that will do it for today, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. It's a short one. I uh, appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time in Farmer's Dynasty. But until then... Have a good one.